Hello, I am Eli G. Brown, slash Eli G. Brony, here with the final in the series of, well, some mocks that are replicas of Hero Factory knockoff toys that, if you may remember some time ago, I did a video showing images that I found on eBay showing these knockoff toys, and, um... Gork Studios, along with Mansiker, I believe that's how his name is pronounced, also did a look at many Bionicle and Hero Factory knockoffs, so be sure to check out that video that they did together. It should be on Gork Studios' uh, channel, and they've also done some other looks at Hero Factory and Bionicle and some other knockoff toys. Uh, separately, so you should check those out as well. But now, here we have the final character in this series. This is Uranus. Now, this is not entirely accurate to the actual uh, knockoff toy that was uh, shown, because, well, for one thing, this series of knockoff toys does not include uh, the actual hinges on the upper arms and upper legs, whereas this one, this mock, actually has those, because I certainly do not think it's a good idea for them to all be this type of piece. And another thing that I should also point out is that for the legs, um, I did try to use the short ones, but with the uh, stringer speaker things on the legs, it just did not look right. So I used the longer legs with the pinholes in them, which were used on Stormer 2.0 and Raka 3.0, and a couple of other sets have used those um, from time to time in the Hero Factory series. So basically, Uranus is supposed to be a combination model between Thunder and Vibration. Now, of course, Thunder and Vibration, along with Vortex and Fires, they are actually miniature replicas of the knockoff toys, and they're not actually in the same size as them. Because basically, there are just some parts on those knockoff toys that do not exist, so I decided to just make them miniature size to, um, well, to save doing a lot of customization. I personally have not tried spray painting any of the armor pieces. All I was used to was just doing the masks. That was about it. So yeah, Thunder, who is supposed to be a knockoff of Nex and Evo, and it has Nex's head and Evo's colors, and uh, Vibration, who is supposed to be a knockoff of Stringer and Surge, well mostly Stringer, but has Surge's mask in silver, and I just realized that I forgot to put the tubing around uh, Uranus here. Because shown in the picture... It, oh, that was not supposed to happen. Anyway, shown in the picture was a tubing on, um, on Uranus. Now I don't know if I actually have another of the green tubing to be used. But I actually think that that probably would have made it look ridiculous. So, pretty much, I think I'm just gonna leave that off. Even if I do have another one of those, I'm just gonna leave it off, because it, what is the whole point of a tubing that goes over on this side, only over on that side? Because with the official Hero Factory Heroes, they don't actually do that, because if you connect a tube um, on the armor piece, you would connect it with, um, like, maybe a weapon, like like Vibration has right here. So, what I also like about this um, character is the fact that they're using body armor pieces on the arms, because that, that is a good thing. They've done that with Stormer and Stringer in the 3.0 series. It's good that they are doing that. Well, good that the knockoff company did that. Um, I can't say that they were doing it again, because they're not the same people as before, because the real Hero Factory line did that, and then the knockoff did it. So, basically, 
what you have here is a character that has a combination of colors that go around from silver to yellow to black to blue to gunmetal gray. And that is about it. Now what parts would be left over from doing this combiner? Well, I, I don't know. But why don't we find out? How about I combine this thunder and this vibration and make a miniature version of this guy right here? And here we go, we got a miniature version of Uranus. Well, partially miniature, he's not as big as the actual one that I built here. Uh, but, yeah, th this is pretty much what you get if you combine the two miniature versions to try and create this. <laughs> Which is kind of awkward, kind of like a remake to X-T4. Which is quite interesting. So of course, y you can see the major differences in the scaling between these two. Um, such as the fact that the blaster right here is replaced with the silver Borok eyes over here, and mostly everything is just used using um, smaller scale versions. Now, the parts left over? Well, let's actually take a look. Uh, I just need to rotate my camera a bit here. And these would be the parts left over. Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna bring them all out onto the screen right here. Now, of course, these would only be the parts that are left over from doing the, um, the miniature combiner with the miniature heroes. But, of course, if it was the large version, um, the parts that would be left over would be the antenna that comes from, uh, thunder, the black feet from vibration, though there could be a possibility that these color of feet should have been used on the combiner, but... It does not really matter. Besides, it's a knockoff, and you really should... It, it just does not matter. You have the black hands, left over from vibration, and you got one very long size armor piece, right there. The silver next head from Thunder, one hero core, the tubing right here, and you would have a... and the... well, the blue Glatorian head from... Uh, vibration would be left over. Now, of course, with the miniature size version, you would have a, one XT4 body piece left over. But on the large size, uh, the the regular old uh, main body piece would be left over. Okay. Now, of course, I could not make these armor pieces face forward because they would get in the way of each other. So I just cannot do that. This piece is barely even compatible with the ball socket joints here. I guess you could actually recommend for the uh, three long size armor piece to be used as the main body piece instead, but I think that this works out a bit more and I can deal with that. Uh, sure, this probably is not something that, that you could do with um, LEGO Digital Designer because there are a lot of limitations with LEGO Digital Designer. So there are a lot of things that you can't do on LEGO, LEGO Digital Designer that you can actually do in real life. So that is about it. I may do a recap of all of these characters pretty soon. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.